A man in Los Angeles is under arrest for a suspected prank that originated in the gaming community but turned deadly in real life in Kansas. John Blackstone with how it unfolded. Wichita police officers believe they were responding to a hostage situation when Andrew Fitch was shot dead after he appeared to be reaching for a weapon. They didn't knock on the door. My son opened it because he heard something. He screamed and then they shot him. It was all a mistake, started by this phony call to 911. I'm just pointing the gun at them, making sure they stay in the closet. My mom and my little brother. Okay, is there any way you can put the gun up? No. Police believe the call was actually made by 25-year-old Tyler Barris, 1,300 miles away in Los Angeles. Finch's death is the first known fatality caused by a dangerous hoax called swatting. This term, swatting, the idea is get the SWAT team out, trick the SWAT team. The people who perpetrate this are looking for a, a tactical response. John Bennett heads the FBI in San Francisco. They want to see um, armed officers. They want to see uh, bomb dogs, helicopters. That's all part of the, the fun they, uh, they see in this, and, and that can be very, uh, um, very devastating. The swatting targets are sometimes celebrities like Rihanna and Justin Bieber, but are often online gamers. People making the false 911 calls can then watch live online what happens next. That victim doesn't even realize that this is being done to them and they want to record this live stream as SWAT is coming into the house. Detective Richard Wistocki says hackers can make calls to 911 appear to be local, but can come from anywhere around the world. He's been a target himself. Well, the, the guy who swatted my house lived in Finland. Local police forces are not required to report swatting incidents to the FBI, so there are no national figures. But calling for a SWAT team unnecessarily can be expensive, dangerous, and as we've now seen in Wichita, deadly. Jeff? Sean, thanks. And the question remains why anyone would ever make a phone call like this. John Blackstone in San Francisco.